eternal security. First, deliverance through the Spirit. A believer is given a new nature from God. Given a desire to keep the spiritual principles of the law. But, do we have the power to keep them? Then, Scripture is able to give a cry of victory. The indwelling Holy Spirit can produce the righteous requirements of the law in believers. The responsibility of believers is to be rightly related to the Holy Spirit in their experience. To submit to His guidance and will. To release from condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. If in Christ, we are now secure in eternal destiny. Not judged by God in eternity for sin. Living in vital union with the Lord. Never to fear the wrath of God or eternal punishment. If God condemns the true believer, he must condemn the Lord Jesus too. For every believer is in union with Christ. God would never condemn his own Son. To recognizing the new power of the Spirit. Believers need not fear condemnation because the law of the indwelling Spirit, the life of Christ, the union of Christ, the power of the Spirit, overcomes the limitations of the Mosaic Law, gives progressive victory over the flesh, reproduces the life of Christ in the believer, frees the believer from the power of the sin nature, the law of the indwelling Spirit, supersedes the law of the sin nature, the broken power of the sin nature, the new life of Christ. God judged the sin nature. Jesus broke the power of the sin nature. The Spirit produces a progressive reality walking by the law of the indwelling Spirit. The guarantee of completion. The union with Christ. A guarantee of progressive victory over sin. Complete final victory over sin in glorification. Secondly, dependence through perseverance. Believers are under no obligation to live according to the flesh. The true Christian is not a debtor to the sin nature. Believers are not under obligation to obey it. Why? God has indwelt the believer with the Holy Spirit. God has guaranteed progressive ultimate sanctification from sin. But are under obligation to the Spirit. Believers are under obligation to walk in the Spirit dominated by the Spirit, able and willing to obey the Spirit, willing to put to death the evil deeds of the body. Why? Because the believer's sin nature has been judged. The inner person has the indwelling of the Spirit, the empowerment of the Spirit, put to death the cravings of the sin nature. The grasp of sin has been overpowered. We listen to the Spirit's influence. So rest in God's promise of security. God's Son, through death, resurrection, and appeal on your behalf ensures your ultimate salvation. Nothing can separate you from God's love. Can keep you from your victory in Christ and glory. Believe God's promise for the future. The answer to indwelling sin. The indwelling Christ. The answer to holy living. Dependence on the indwelling Spirit. The answer to eternal security. Dead to sin and alive in Christ.